Hello, babies. So I'm back with another reading. I'm going to be channeling some energy for Tuesday, okay? Um, Tuesday, May 10th. Yeah, so let's get into it. Today is crystal, as you can see, we are channeling with, um, is this crystal right here? I think this is brown goldstone, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, I just meditated with this crystal, so it's all charged and everything. You know, it's energies. We have our candle, we have our little decor. Let's do some sound bowl, and then we're going to... Uh, tap into the tarot. Just I'm sorry, I'm back. I do have a meditation playing in the background, so that's what the sound is. Um, I had it in my AirPod, but my AirPod died, so I said, well, let me just play it out loud. I don't think they would have a problem with that. It's very relaxing. So let's get into our sound bowl. Yesterday and broke my nail, okay? The same the same day. So I'm gonna go get that fixed. But these are my nails. I'm feeling real colorful and vibrant. Oh my huh. <laughs> she gonna get fixed tomorrow, but yes, I'm really feeling them, okay? Yes. So um yeah, let's get into this energy. I hope you all are doing well, okay? I hope you all are feeling blessed and not stressed, okay? How you doing, okay? I miss Wendy. Anybody else miss Wendy? <laughs> I heard she coming back. I heard she coming back soon. You know, they don't want her to, but she coming back. Because that's what God says. People may not like your job. They may not like how you do your job. Shit, they may not even like you for whatever reason. But if God put you in position, who the fuck is going to fire you? In the, in the wise words of Maji, the high priestess, she says, God hired me. Who going to fire me? And I love that. I love that. Cause that's a fact you ain't done until God says you're done and we all need to understand that angels and ancestors of the light most high God and spirit please use me to channel some energy for May 10th Tuesday confirmation spirit <laughs> shuffle a couple of times is that you or that's my spirit What's that little note? My daughter's in the background, y'all. Hold on, my cards are flipped. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. No, that beat. That was spirit, right? You didn't hear that? Is that your computer making that noise or that was my spirit? I think that was spirit. It was spirit, but then I, I thought it was woogie, but it was, it was actually spirit. <laughs> All right, I don't know why I'm shuffling so many times. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, let's go. Angels and ancestors of the light, spirit, most high God. Ooh. Ooh, first part out. Judgment. Judgment is being called on a particular situation in you guys' life. Let's keep going. Oh, that's not judgment. Temperance. Temperance in the upright. My bad. Yeah. I look right at the card, too. It said judgment. Maybe judgment is going to come out. What do you say, spirit? Spirit, angels, ancestors of light, most high God, please use me to channel energy for May 10th, Tuesday. What is the collective unaware of at this time? What do, what do you want them to know, Spirit? Tuesday, May 10th. Ooh. Communication is coming in. Oh my God, Spirit. Some form of communication is on the way, you guys. What else, Spirit? Flew out. 
one flew out. <laughs> Did you guys see that? The high priestess. You guys are high priestesses. You know what that means, right? Collective. That means you guys know the truth. Let's keep going, spirit. Tuesday, May 10th. What does the collective need to know at this time, spirit? What are they unaware of? Oh. Oh, shit. Wow. Wow, we got... What is this? Wow, we got three of swords in the reverse. Your oppositions have been defeated, collective. A knight of swords... This is Gemini energy. It's in the upright. They on the they on the right side of their energy collective. Whoever you all are dealing with. Wow. We got King of Pentacles in the upright as well. Wow. They're in the right side of their energy collective. King of Pentacles is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Nine of Swords. Next we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next we got nine of swords in reverse. Wow. Wow. Somebody's up at night, stressed, upset, in regret. Next we got Page of Cups in reverse. Wow. Ooh, Chile. Oh, my God. And then we, we never, this card never came out in any of my readings. This is the first time this card has came out. Three of Cups in the upright. Make sure we put this card. Let's try to uh, back this up a little bit. Right, guys? Because I want you all to see the spread. Okay. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There we go. Just push them up a little bit. I'm going to shuffle a couple more times and see if that is it. If that's all spirit wants us to talk about. This card is just going to be on the bottom over here, guys. Okay, so... Yeah, let's keep going. Spirit, you gonna give me you gonna give me a couple more cards or that's it? That's it. Wow. We got ten of swords and two of cups. Wow. Give me one more. Just one more, spirit. <laughs> I want, I want my, my layout right here to be to be even. I got 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I got 12 cards here. No, I got, uh, a, what is it? I can't count. <laughs> 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. I got 11 cards. I want one, one more to make it 12 to make it even. Can I get one more card, Spirit? Or is that it? full spread and then we're gonna get into the reading oh, let me just pick y'all up so this is the full spread we got temperance we got one two three four five six seven eight we got eight of wands the high priestess three of swords in the upright i mean in, the, in reverse three of swords in reverse king of swords in the upright king of pentacles in the upright nine of swords in reverse page of cups in reverse Three of Cups in the upright, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups, the Hierophant. Let's get into it, y'all. Let's get into it. So I see here, initially when I'm looking at these cards, I can see here that somebody wants to balance out a situation with you all. Look at Temperance. Temperance is all about balancing you guys' energy. So if this is not you all, this is somebody that you all were dealing with, you're currently dealing with, or you will deal with, okay? Because they want to balance out the energy collective. They want equal reciprocity. Yes, the time has come. <laughs> the time has come where people realize that equal reciprocity is for the win, okay? Not third party situations, not cheating, not lying, not manipulating, not putting love spells and black magic and all this hoopla and alakazam and voodoo. No, no, this 
is the right energy y'all need to be going towards your lovers. Hey, baby, I know I messed up, but, you know, I want to balance this thing out. I love you. I love you with everything in me. And, and if you give me one more chance, I will never let you go. I will protect you. I'll protect our family. I will love you all unconditionally and be there for you all in ways that, that I've never been there for anybody or even myself. Because you are the love of my life. This is how they need to become in collective. Not lying, cheating, stealing, thieving, got third party situations. No. If somebody's coming in that energy collective, I'm going to need you to check them at the door and turn their ass around. Because we're not accepting that type of energy anymore. We're all growing up. We're getting wiser. We're leveling up. Who has time to play games of the heart? Who really has time for that? I know I don't. As for you all, you all have to decide for yourself. It's nothing wrong with being in open relationship, polygamy, polyamorous, and all of that. Do what you all want to do. It's your life. But for the collective that I'm channeling today, we want equal reciprocity. So some form of communication is coming. Maybe somebody used to deal with. Let me use this other hand because I can't look at that ugly nail. <laughs> My nail. <laughs> nail man <laughs> without no uh, acrylic on it i mean it's you know it's normal but at the same time i know y'all want to look at you know my beautiful nails over here <laughs> so anyways uh yeah maybe somebody wants to get you all's nails done because the fact that i'm really focused on my nails um maybe somebody wants to give you all money so you all can go get pampered i mean it is mother's day i mean mother's day just passed i'm i'm, I'm recording this on saturday you guys but you all are gonna see this on tuesday okay so um, maybe somebody paid for you guys' nails for Mother's Day and paid for your toes and said, baby, go get a uh, facial, go get a massage. I'm going to take care of the household while you go out for a couple a couple hours, you know, because this is your day. Me and the kids appreciate you. Whatever it is. I know somebody wants to balance something out. So they're going to be sending you all communication really soon. Maybe this uh, already happened and you're with your person. Congratulations. Um, maybe your person is on the way and you all have not reconciled yet. Or maybe this is going to be happening in the future. But I know that somebody, 12-12 on the timer, somebody has had a change of heart. Um, God has really worked on this person. Because look at this. This person wants equal reciprocity with you all, Collective. And they're going to tell you that. Let's keep going. Next, we got the high priestess. And that is the truth. That's the truth. Let's read it. I never read the high priestess. But the high priestess is very intellectual. She's so smart. She knows when somebody's lying. She knows when somebody's trying to manipulate her. She knows people's secrets. The high priestess is somebody you don't want to mess with. Let's read it. High Priestess, page three. Okay. <clears throat> it says, secrets, mystery, the future as yet unrevealed. The woman who interests the querent, parentheses, if male, the querent herself, if female, silence, tenacity, mystery, wisdom, science. Yeah, she's the High Priestess. Secrets, mysteries. She already knows. Whoever you are, collective, you already know the truth. Because you're using your intuition. You're using your skills of discernment that God has blessed you with. Let's read Three of Swords in reverse. Somebody has been defeated. Oh, this is Four of Swords. I'm sorry. Oh, this is Five of Swords. Whoa. Five of Swords. It's, it, it seems here, let's look at it this way so we can see the illustration. I see here two people have been defeated because they were deceptive. Period, point blank. Okay, period, point blank, period. People were deceptive towards you, collective, or your person, and they have been defeated. They needed to drop their swords and walk away. Okay, because the battle is not yours, collective. It's the Lord's. 
people are coming up against you, trying to fight you, trying to manipulate you, use you, abuse you, all this different kind of stuff. And the battle is not even your battle, Collector. It's the Lord's. These people have no choice but to walk away. You have now been defeated by the Most High God. Let's read it, though. Let's read it. I never read Five of Swords in, in reverse. Yes, baby. Okay, baby. Let me do my work. Okay, baby. Let me do my work, okay? So let's read it, collective. In reverse, it says, the same burial and obsequies. Hmm. Burial? The same burial and obsequies. What does obsequies mean? I'll be right back. I gotta Google that. Hey Siri, can you repeat that? Here's an answer from cliffsnotes.com, meaning someone who shows too great a willingness to serve or obey, someone who is overly eager to please. Wow, so I, I listened to it without you guys and I had to let you all hear that for yourself. Did you hear what they just said? Somebody who is, who is, uh, uh, like you can't please them. They're too egotistical. They're too deceptive. They're fraudulentized. Okay? Maybe someone you guys were dealing with was really cocky, really full of themselves. <laughs> Confirmation spirit. Thank you. Really cocky, really full of, full of themselves, you know, really selfish. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> and um just real really just just really not a good person, okay? Not a good person with a good heart. So they have been defeated collective. <laughs> the most high God has defeated you all's, well, not all of you, all of your enemies, but Two of them definitely have no choice but to walk away because the battle is not yours, collective. It's it's the Lord's, okay? And you all need to know that. You all are going through spiritual warfare. You all are going through many challenging things in you all's life. And I want you to know, give your problems to God, okay? The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. People are mad at you because you speaking the truth, standing up for yourself, and being who God blessed you to be. And they mad about that, okay? Give it to the Lord. They ain't really mad at you, collective. They mad at the Lord. They mad that the Lord has chosen you to be one of his special children and God didn't choose them. They can't understand. Why is this? Why is it not me? Why is this? Why is that? How is this? What is this? Collective, the battle is not yours. Give it to the Lord. Okay, let's continue on on the reader. <laughs> let's put on some, let's finish. Yeah, let's put that sound back on. That sound is very relaxing. So we have this King of Swords here, charging in. <laughs> this, is, this is Gemini. So this Gemini is charging in in their Knight of Swords uh, energy um, with some communication because they want to balance things out. They want to speak the truth. They want to balance everything out. But the thing is, the thing is, Collective, you're a high priestess. You already know the truth. But let them come in and speak the truth, Collective. Whoever you all are dealing with, whatever your situation is, how this resonates for you all, use your intuition. You all are high priestess. You, you all are high priestesses, okay? You all know the truth already. But let people come in and speak their truth, all right? Next, we have this King of Pentacles. A King of Pentacles, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is also coming in with some communication because they want to balance out the situation with you all. It looks to me that these people have had a change of heart some sort of change of heart with the situation you all are currently going through collective and now they want to apologize and they want to reveal their secrets and they want to uh whatever mysteries you all have been trying to solve in you all's life these people here want to speak some truth to you all and balance out the situation okay that's what i see here let's keep going but then we have 
But then we have Nine of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I could already see what this is about. We got Nine of Swords in reverse. Let's read it. How about I can place this right there? Yes, I don't have to hold it up. <laughs> yes. I'm learning some tips and tricks, y'all. <laughs> in reverse, imprisonment, doubt, suspicion, reasonable fear, shame. So it seems to me that these people came in to speak some truth to you all. You know, they came in their right energy, being honest, being open and, you know, speaking the truth. But it seems to me here that you all, oh, this is them. I, I don't know if you all accepted their apologies and whatever they were coming with. You all comment down below because I want to know uh, you all's situation um, to see if it resonates with mine. You know what I mean? Because I know my situation, but I don't know y'all's situation. All I can do is give you all like a general um, energy. You know what I mean? So, yeah, these people are in shame. It looks to me that you said, I already know the truth. I've been knew the truth. And honestly, listen, thank you for coming and expressing the truth and telling me everything that I already knew because I'm the high priestess. Hey, collective, I'm the high priestess. Some of you all are high priestesses too. You already know the truth, okay? People thought you didn't know, but you're the high priestess. You know the truth. So these five of swords here in reverse, you made these people walk away because you said, look, thank you for telling me the truth, but I have to continue to move on with my life. All I was, all I was ever asking for was the truth. You know, and you all refused to just tell me the truth about everything, although I already knew I asked you guys almost 10 times, just tell me the truth. What's the truth? What's going on? We can, we can work through it, whatever it is. These people chose to be deceptive. So you listened to the communication. You said, I already know the truth. And you told them they have to walk away. Even if they didn't want to, God made them walk away. Okay, because they was messing with God's chosen one. They was messing with God's special children, his intuitive beings. He don't play about us, collective. You all need to know that. People are coming up against you all and they have no idea that the problem, you know, it, 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 is, it is not your, 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 your burdens to carry, collective. It's the Lord's. Release it and give it to the Lord and the Lord will handle all of your problems. So yeah, you ain't want nothing to do with these people collective. You, you, you and the Most High God was like, nah, I'm good. You was like, nah, I'm good. And the Most High God was like, she good. <laughs> Clarification on what you said. The God was like, yeah, they good. Y'all gonna have to walk away. All right? Because y'all done, y'all done, y'all done, y'all done did enough hoop line and blues a bloops and lolly gagging and all that shit you done did enough I, I heard the i heard the horn they did enough okay so yeah they in their shame energy up at night okay why did i do that why did i treat collective this way i really actually love collective and i actually really care about her why did i do that I know why you did it. This is me, Raya J here speaking. You all do things like this because you all's hearts are not healed. You all have to heal from your childhood trauma, your adult trauma, and any other pain you all feel within you. That's the only reason why people do really evil things that they do collective, you know that, right? Because they have to heal. Some of them refuse to heal. They just sit up in this energy like this late at night. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? In reality, look yourself in the mirror and you should say, look, 
you know, we really fucked up. But I want to be a better person. I want to change. You know, why am I like this? And go into solitude and actually do the work. Ask yourself the hard questions. Do I love myself? Do I care about myself? Do I respect myself? How do I treat others? Why do I treat others so horrible? Is it because I don't love myself? Is it because someone hurt me so I feel like I have to go out in the world and hurt others? You all have to heal. You don't have to live in shame. You don't have to be guilty. What's done is already done. What's done is already done. The past is already the past. You all need to know that. Now, how are you going to improve your life moving forward? You all are going to heal, right? Heal. Come about that energy. That energy could kill you. Following the Nine of Swords in reverse, we have the Page of Cups in reverse. So, yeah. Some Page of Cups is trying to come through to you all, but they don't love you, Collective. Look what's in their cup. Come on now. We're going to have to pack this up. Y'all still coming through with these bogus-ass love offers? Ain't shit in this cup but a fish. Ain't no love in that cup. You see any love, boo-boo? I see a fish. Somebody want to make salmon. That's what I see. They like, hey, you want to eat salmon? They not saying, hey, I love you unconditionally. I'm sorry about everything that I've done. Listen, I can't lose you. You're the love of my life. I'll do anything to make it right. I'll do anything to make it right. They not coming. They, they, they not coming in that truth energy. They not coming in that truth energy. They coming in reverse. Hey Siri, what does Page of Cups represent? Okay, I found this on the web for what does Page of Cups represent. Check it out. You ain't gonna read it to me? <laughs> Dang, Siri. <laughs> All right, so this Page of Cups represents the sign of Pisces. And I did a little research on this card. And actually this card means that you all are having creative blocks some type of creative blocks um and you all can be very emotional emotional right now the water behind this this page man uh signifies emotion so i feel like you guys are not only having creative blocks behind whatever this was but um you're also like spirit wants you all to be more open emotionally and spirit wants you all to know that at this time maybe some of you all are experiencing some sort of creative blocks okay so that's actually what we're going to read the card as right now let's keep going so following the page of cups in reverse we have three of cups so it seems like there's going to be some sort of celebration um i guess after you all finally uh solve you all's mysteries in your life that y'all are experiencing because y'all are using your intuition y'all are using your discernment and y'all are living life with a pure heart right so let's read it all the way through up until this part somebody wants to balance out a situation with you all there's communication on the way you already know the truth so you you let them know like look i already know the truth and i'm not fucking with you um, these King of Swords and these, this, oh, Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles right here. Um, to me, it looks like these are the people that came in with the, thank you, Spirit. To me, it looks like this King, the Knight of Swords and King of Pentacles came in with some sort of confirm, um, Lord, I can't even speak. <laughs> this Knight of Swords and this King of Pentacles came in with some communication, letting you all know, hey, collective, I want to balance out the situation with you all. I'm sorry, um, and went on to tell you all the truth about the situation that you all are experiencing, but you already knew the truth. You felt hurt, and you told them, look, you all have to walk away because I've been knew the truth. Like, I've just been waiting for you all to tell me the truth, and now that you all have told me the truth, now you all can walk away and leave me alone. <laughs> That's what y'all said. 
So there is shame because you know the truth and they can't come in and manipulate, play games. They have to come in their right energy. Or this could be you guys feeling so hurt by what you all heard through that communication. Finally finding the last puzzle piece of the mystery. And then that caused you to go into a creative block and to not be open with your emotions. Maybe. Maybe. Let me read Page of Cups in reverse, y'all. Page of Cups in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Taste, inclination, attachment, seduction, deception. Yeah, no. Yeah, I was reading it right the first time. Right, Spirit? Somebody wants to come in and balance out a situation with you all. There's going to be communication on the way. You already know the truth. You told them you already know the truth. Um, you already know about all the lies, the manipulation, the deception, the black magic, all that shit. So they're in shame, okay? Because they were deceptive as fuck, okay? And, and also trying to come in and probably seduce you and you ain't with it. You ain't looking to be seduced at this time, okay? So after that all went down, I see here that you all are going to be celebrating with your friends and your family, your loved ones, people that actually care about you and want to see you grow and elevate and happy. You're going to be celebrating, Collective. Let's read it. So whatever you all are going through, just know it's going to be okay. You have nothing to worry about. Three of Cups in the Upright. It said, excuse me, Wookie, please let me finish this read. Three of Cups in the Upright. It says, maidens in a garden celebrated with cups uplifted as if pledging one another. The conclusion of any matter, plenty, perfection, merriment, happiness, victory, fulfillment, solace, and healing. So it looks like after the truth comes out, but you already know the truth, people are in shame. People were deceptive. It looks like everything is going to be all right, Collective. You all are going to be celebrating really soon. I don't know if you all are going to be celebrating with these people here. Or not. But I do know for a fact, everything is going to be okay. And you all are going to get justice, victory, and success, happiness. And you all are going to be celebrating. All right? So get ready for that. Party. <laughs> Party. Yes, Lord. Ten of Swords. Wow. Ten of Swords. Following our celebration card. Three of Cups. Let's read Ten of Swords. Damn, man. They fucked y'all up bad, Collective. They fucked y'all up bad. But y'all gonna be okay. Don't worry about nothing. Ten of Swords in the Upright. A prostrate, let me put it here so y'all can see. A prostrate figure pierced by all the swords belonging to the card. Who, who whatsoever is intimated by the design, also pain, affliction, tears, sadness, dissolution. Yeah. So it seems like the truth, the entire truth comes out. Um, people come to you with the truth, but you already know the truth, right, about everything because you are the high priestess. You probably are just missing a couple little nudges here and there. But for the majority, you already know the truth. People are going to be defeated. They feel defeated. They have no choice but to walk away. They're in shame because they were deceptive. At the end of the day, you get justice, success, and victory. You're going to be celebrated with your loved ones, people that actually love and care, care about you. Um... Because look at all these swords that was in your back, Collective. Look at this. Ten swords to the back. People was trying to kill y'all. If not physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially. People did y'all dirty, Collective. 
but it's okay. It's okay. You know why? Because God sees all. The Most High God sees all. That's why we should not be living in stress, worry, fear, anxiety. Because God always sees all. And you will get justice for your situation, collective. I don't care what happened, when it happened, where it happened. I don't care who did it, blues ate bloops. Okay? Just know justice is on the way. Because God sees all. And he don't play about y'all, collective. Keep your faith alive. Keep your hope alive. As long as you keep waiting for that justice, baby, the justice is on the way. So after we got the Ten of Swords, we got the Two of Cups. Oh, collective. Collective. Oh, don't do this to me, collective. Oh, man. Y'all gonna make me cry. Your soulmate is coming, collective. Two of Cups, look. Somebody's like, I love you. I want to be with you. <laughs> and then you're like, really? I love you too? I want to be with you too. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. This could be you all's twin flame. Or this could be a high level soulmate. But they love you, collective, and they're on the way. Let's read the card. Oh, they gonna make me cry, Wookie. Wookie, they always do this to me, Wookie. <laughs> they, like <when> <laughs> they know I'm a soft ass fucking marshmallow. <laughs> Your girl be just crying, just crying, crying, crying. <laughs> Two of cups in the upright. Let's read it, y'all. It says, A youth and a maiden are pledging to one another. Above their cups rises the Kate, the Katie, the what? the caduces of Hermes, between whose great wings there appears a lion's head. Love, passion, friendship, affinity, union, concord, sexual relations, that which nature has sanctified. Yeah, your, di your divine lover is on the way, collective. After all this situation, all the stress, trying to solve a mystery here who did this who said this where's this what is this who's wearing a mask who's a fraudulenta who's real after all of this collective your divine lover is on the way and they love you so much collective oh my god i can feel it they love you so much you're coming collective some of you all know who this is, and some of you all, is somebody you haven't met. Someone you haven't seen in a while, someone you probably never even met, but they've been watching you, or somebody from the past wants to reconcile. Whatever the situation is for you all, just know somebody loves you, and they're on their way. Wow, this is some beautiful energy. Thank you, Spirit. You know I love a happy ending. Oh my God. And the last card following the Two of Cups is the Hierophant. Wow. Yeah, this is a twin flame or this is a high level soulmate because we already had the High Priestess. You already knew the truth. Your person knew the truth too. <laughs> Let's read Two of Cups and let's read the Hierophant and then we're going to get angel messages and then we're going to wrap, wrap up. All right, let's go. Two of Cups. I already read Two of Cups. So let's read Hierophant. Yeah, this is your divine counterpart, Collective. The, the High Priestess to the Hierophant? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's read it. Let's read it. Oh, I'm shaking. You guys are going to be so happy. You guys are going to be so happy, Collective. Congratulations. Invite me to the wedding. <laughs> I would love to come. The Hierophant. Let's read it. Marriage, alliance, captivity, servitude. By another account, mercy and goodness, inspiration. The man to whom the coherent has recourse. Yeah, 
this is your divine counterpart collective they're on the way so that's your reading let's get into some angel messages and let's wrap up oh i'm so happy for you guys i'm so happy let me just shuffle my deck real quick i'm literally <laughs> get it together right jay i'm fucking shaking oh my god Wow, beautiful reading, beautiful energy. Wow. What sign? Hey Siri, what zodiac sign does the Hierophant represent? Let's be nosy. Huh? Here's an answer from Rogue.com. The card associated with Taurus is the The Hierophant represents Taurus. So if you all are dealing with a Taurus, <laughs> That's your, that's your person. That is your person, collective. If you've been dealing with a Taurus, or you was, and you were in separation, or you've never met a Taurus, and yeah. Some of you all are coming into reconciliation with a Taurus. And it is your divine counterpart. Whether this, ew, why did I say it like counterpart? <laughs> it is your divine counterpart, and whether it is you, are, you guys masculine, um, you guys divine masculine, or you guys divine feminine, yeah, they're on the way. Let's get into some angel messages and let's get out of here. Congratulations! Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Wow, collective. God bless. God bless, man. Take care, man. Take care. Enjoy. Yes. Yes. Spirit, angels, answers of the light, most high God, please use me to channel nothing but truth and honesty through these cards. What does the collective need to know? Um, give me some angel messages for the collective for May 10th, Tuesday, um, regarding this energy here. What do they need to know, Spirit? What are they unaware of at this time? Let's get into it, y'all. Three cards, Spirit. What does the collective need to know at this time? What are they unaware of? Oh, thank you. Oh my God. I love when y'all listen to me. <laughs> Give me exactly what I want. <laughs> Even with my cards. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. First card out. Be willing to forgive. Second card out crystals third card out heart chakra wow let's read it be willing to forgive ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness confirmations <laughs> thank you spirit so our angels and ancestors of the light and our spirit guides and the most high god wants us to ask our angels to clear our mind and body of past pain collective in exchange for peacefulness. So whatever the situation you all were going through, whatever it may be to you all, spirit wants us to forgive, okay? Spirit wants us to ask the angels to clear our mind and body of past pain. And when we do that, in exchange for us asking for help, we will receive peacefulness, collective. So y'all get to work, okay? Because that's what they want y'all to do. Me too, okay? I'm never excluded. I told y'all that. Sometimes the messages are for me as well. Second card is crystals. So the energy of crystals supports you and helps with your present situation. So whatever crystals you see, I, I use my crystals for the energy um, you know, I really love my crystals because my crystals really help me. Um, our, our, our angels and ancestors of the light, most high God and spirit wants us to use our crystals. If you don't have crystals, they want you to go buy crystals. Um, they want you to research which crystals um, you need. You know, just research what crystals are good for this, which crystals are good for that. Um, always clean your crystals, meditate with your crystals. You can take bath with your crystals. If you want to recharge your crystals, you sit them out in the sun, okay? You clean them and sit them out in the sun. They just want y'all to be willing to forgive. 
because maybe somebody hurt you all really bad and um it really hurt y'all collective you would never expected this person to hurt you the way they did but they're sorry collective they're really sorry and they love you okay so you, so you have to be willing to forgive this person when you do and when you ask the angels for help to just please say please angels can you help me get rid of any past pain in my body mind and soul that i received in these situations in the past in exchange of doing that collective you're gonna receive so much more peace than you have right now and you're gonna forgive your person because they love you collective and you love them too you just was hurt i understand i understand collective y'all gonna make me cry And spirit wants y'all to use your crystals because contrary to believe, your crystals really do work. Okay? Don't let nobody tell you different. Oh, why are you using those crystals? What are those crystals for? Fuck them. Go get you some crystals and carry your crystals. Meditate with your crystals. Take a bath with your crystals. Sleep with them. Hold them. Wear them on a necklace, on a chain. I don't give a fuck. Get you some bracelets. Okay? And the last card out is heart chakra. Let's read it. It says, the answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. <laughs> so yeah, your partner loves you, collective. And you love them too. But you have to forgive them and you have to let go of all the past pain. Because they're sorry. They didn't mean to. You know, they just was operating on the wrong side of their energy. But they got their they got their head on they got their head screwed on tight now, collective. They they got their heart right, they got everything right, and they just waiting for you. So ask your angels to forgive you of any past pain in your mind, body, and soul, and forgive your person. It's time for you to come into union. It's time for you to settle down with your divine counterpart because the perfect love is here because you all actually do have the perfect love story you do collective so I love y'all and congratulations y'all I'm rooting for you guys I love y'all so much. Congratulations. Don't forget to invite me to the wedding, the party. I don't give a fuck. The bachelorette party. <laughs> it's Lake Collective. I love y'all. Have a good rest of your day. God bless. And peace and love. I'm sending you all love and light. Bye.